What happened to Hamlin last night during the game in front of this big national audience, Monday Night Football, has put a lot of attention today on cardiac arrest and heart health. Our Brooke Rogers with what, with what we can all learn from what happened last night. Medical experts watching last night's game knew something was terribly wrong by the way DeMar Hamlin collapsed. That basically means there's no circulation, there's no oxygenation to the brain, and something severe is going on. Dr. Dale Yu with Texas Health Allen says one possibility is commodio cordis, which is caused by a sudden blunt impact to the chest that causes an electrical abnormality in the heart. He also believes an undiagnosed genetic abnormality or spinal cord injury are possible. But he says what happened immediately after can be a learning tool. And they did a great job on the field, the EMS, and everyone came together, fans alike. I think that really shows greatness in humanity. Caleb Rozier, a second driver and paramedic with Carrollton Fire Rescue, says CPR saves time and lives in the event of cardiac arrest. Every minute that goes by, roughly 10% of a person's chance of survival goes down the drain. He says if you come across someone who's unresponsive, the first thing you should do is call 911. Then try to access an automated external defibrillator if you know there's one nearby. Then check for breathing. So you're going to get down, watch for chest rise and fall for 10 seconds. If they're not breathing, start chest compressions. Mouth to mouth is no longer indicated. And it's as simple as pushing two inches deep, 100 to 120 beats a minute, uh, and putting on an AED if you've got access to it. He says there's a misconception that only medical professionals can do it successfully. But he says bystander intervention increases survival by two to three times. Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News.